You have the option to buy a laptop that folds back and with a touchscreen can act as a tablet and has a stylus on one hand. And on the other hand, you can buy a tablet that's bigger than many laptops and with the right peripherals like a Samsung keyboard cover and the use of Samsung Bix can be a laptop replacement and is also shipped with a stylus. Hmm, now that's a tough choice if you ask me. Okay, so let's break things down. I'm gonna give you four categories that I think you'll agree with me that are the most important in our decision making. These categories are gaming, productivity, content consumption, and content creation. Now we'll get back to these categories, but I went through a few iterations of how I'm gonna deliver this to you guys. And ultimately I ended up going with a bottom-up approach instead of going, instead of comparing the specs down to the software or the operating system. I will start with the operating system itself because that's in fact the elephant in the room that we need to address. And it's, a, it's also a very interesting one, to be honest. You know, the Galaxy Tab S8 Ultra is shipped with an Android operating system, as we all know, but with the Galaxy Book 2 Pro 360, you'll get a fully fledged Windows 11 and also partly the Android ecosystem and specifically Samsung's. Let me explain. You see, Windows 11 has this capability to run certain Android apps. If you live in the States, then you can find Amazon App Store inside your Microsoft Store, which is where you can actually find a curated list of apps that you can download that will work 100% on your machine. Notice that I said it's a curated list, not just every Android app or game out there. There are of course some method methods you can use to download more apps via the Google Play Store on your machine, but those are a little technical. In addition to that, you'll have access to certain Samsung apps, for example, the Samsung Notes, and that allows you to stay in sync between your laptop and other Samsung devices. And that's not all. On your Windows machine, you can actually almost completely control your phone or even pin an app like the Gallery or Notes to your taskbar for quick access. So what I'm trying to say is that by getting this laptop, you probably won't miss much of what the Galaxy Tab S8 Ultra offers because you're getting the best of both worlds. So let's say gaming is your main concern. If you get the Galaxy Book 2 Pro 360, then you'll obviously have access to a plethora of games that you can play. But if you really prefer AAA games with high fidelity graphics, then you should probably not even get the Pro 360 model and instead go for the Galaxy Book 2 Pro 15 inch, not the 360, which has the dedicated ARC graphics card. But unfortunately, you don't get a 120 Hz refresh rate with any of the Galaxy Book laptops, and you won't natively have access to many mobile games like the Call of Duty mobile. So if you want to play Android games and really want to experience playing games with uh, 120 Hz refresh rate, the Galaxy Tab S8 Ultra does a great job. And I have first-hand experience playing on this tablet with both 60 and 120 Hz refresh rate. And I can tell you that it can make a difference, especially in multiplayer games. Another thing to bear in mind is that the Galaxy Book 2 Pro 360 is an actual computer with, the, with some fans inside. So from time to time, you might hear some fan noise uh, while with the Galaxy Tab S8 Ultra, you obviously won't hear anything, but that's not a bad thing because you know, you're getting great performance with the Intel Core 12th Gen CPU, which has supposedly 1.7 times better multi-core performance than the 11th Gen. So if the productivity and things like video gaming, rendering, multitasking, and office work are your main concerns, then Intel's latest uh, architecture which uses performance and efficiency cores and their CPUs is great for minimizing throttling of the CPU while doing these uh, tasks. What if you do lots of video conferencing and you just want to have the best camera quality? Well, Samsung has bumped the Galaxy Book 2 Pro 360's webcam from last year's HD quality to Full HD, but it still can't beat the quality of the Galaxy Tab S8 Ultra's front-facing cameras, which is 4K. Both of them, though, have the auto-framing feature. What about content creation and content consumption? Well, I already mentioned that if I want to edit videos or if I need to render things, I would go with the Galaxy Book 2 Pro 360 because of the Intel 12th Gen CPU. And whether you're a creative artist or you want to watch a lot of high-quality uh, content, the Galaxy Book 2 Pro 360 only has a Full HD display, while the Tab S8 Ultra offers better resolution. But the colors are pretty much uh, the same across the board with an AMOLED display, so you can expect darker blacks and deeper colors overall. And unfortunately, none of them have exceptionally bright displays, even though, you know, they've increased the net brightness on the Galaxy Book 2 Pro 360 by 33%. So neither of them are gonna be, you know, that easy to see 
or to use under the direct sunlight. There are still a couple of differences that are worth mentioning. For example, the fact that the Galaxy Book 2 Pro 360 has 65 watt fast charging versus 45 watt that the Tab S8 Ultra has. Not only that, with the tablet, you won't get a charging brick, whereas with the Book 2 Pro 360, everything's included. And just like the tablet, you will get a stylus, which is great. And last but not least, the Galaxy Book 2 Pro 360 is an actual laptop, so unlike the tablet, you don't need to buy a keyboard separately. I also wanted to remind you that the Book 2 Pro 360 is much safer than the tablet, especially if you deal with some sensitive data. If you're still not sure and you want to know more about the Galaxy Tab S8 Ultra, go ahead and watch this video where I do an in-depth review. I hope you liked and subbed it. See you in the next one.